ranks. What do they mean? What's it all about? Let's find out in this three-part episode. Army ranks provide a system of leadership that indicates a soldier's level of expertise, responsibility, and authority inside that profession. First, let's talk about the enlisted ranks. Enlisted soldiers are the foundation of the Army. They have specific specialties within an Army unit, perform specific job functions, and have the knowledge that ensures the success of their unit's current mission within the Army. There are 13 ranks. You'll notice that each rank has an E number. This denotes their pay grade. Private E1 is the most junior rank. Most soldiers receive this rank during basic combat training. This rank does not carry an insignia. Private E2 is the second most junior rank and the first promotion most enlisted soldiers can earn after completing basic combat training. The private's job is to apply the new skills and knowledge learned during basic training and to continue to learn how to follow orders given by their higher rank supervisors. Private First Class, E3. Soldiers are generally promoted to this level within a year by request of a supervisor. Their primary role is to carry out orders and complete missions. Specialist E4. Specialists can manage other lower ranked enlisted soldiers. A soldier can be promoted to this rank after serving a minimum of two years and attending a training class. Recruits with a four-year degree may enter basic combat training as a specialist. Corporal E4. Corporals are the base level of the non-commissioned officer or NCO ranks. They serve as team leader of the smallest army unit and are responsible for individual training, personal appearance, and cleanliness of soldiers. Sergeant E5. Sergeants typically lead a fire team of around five soldiers. Sergeants oversee soldiers in their daily tasks and are expected to set a standard for lower ranked soldiers to live up to. Staff Sergeant E6. Staff Sergeants lead a squad made up of eight to 16 soldiers. Often, Staff Sergeants will have one or more Sergeants under his or her leadership. They are responsible for developing, maintaining, and using the full range of a soldier's potential. Sergeant First Class E7. As key assistants and advisors to platoon leaders, Sergeants First Class generally have 10 to 15 years of Army experience. Master Sergeant, E8. Master Sergeants are the principal non-commissioned officers at the battalion level and higher. First Sergeant, E8. First Sergeants are the lifeblood of a company. They're providers, disciplinarians, and counselors. In addition, they also instruct other Sergeants, advise the commander, and help train all enlisted soldiers as well as assist officers at the company level. Sergeant Major, E9. Sergeants Major are the subject matter expert in their technical field, primary advisor on policy development and analytical reviewer of regulatory guidance. They serve as the senior enlisted advisor to primary staff officers at the battalion or higher. Command Sergeant Major, E9. Command Sergeants Major are senior enlisted advisors to the commanding officer. They carry out policies and standards and advise the commander on the performance, training, appearance, and conduct of enlisted soldiers. Sergeant Major of the Army, E-9. There is only one Sergeant Major of the Army. The SMA oversees all non-commissioned officers. This position serves as the senior enlisted advisor and consultant to the Chief of Staff of the Army. If you're interested in learning more about Army ranks, visit army.mil ranks. Don't forget to stay tuned for part two on warrant officer ranks.